AFC South action. I'm talking about the Texans at the Jaguars, 1 o'clock Eastern start time. Jacksonville's minus 7, totals 44.5. Now, I do really hate laying this number here. I think this is a bigger number for a Jacksonville team who's, uh, you know, got some loose ends here. Uh, I don't think Jacksonville's really in any position to be uh, laying 7 points. Having said that, though, they've played, like, a lot better than Houston already. Uh, I think they've played much better than Houston. Uh, this Jags defense is allowing only 16 points per contest. And they're a top 10 rush defense in the league. Foy Aluakin has 38 tackles along with a couple of uh, fumble recoveries. Meanwhile, Devin Lloyd has six PDs, a couple of picks, and 38 tackles himself. When it comes to offensive production, the Jags are uh, they're definitely scoring points. I know uh, Trevor Lawrence has his struggles at times, especially with protecting the football, but they are scoring points. They're averaging nearly 27 points a game, which is well above the league average. They're facing a winless Houston team who's having a hard time slowing anyone down. They're in the bottom three and stopping the run, and they're giving up well over 400 yards a game. Now, when it comes to offensive production, the Texans are scoring only 18 points a game, and they're in the bottom 10 in total yards per contest. When it comes to the injury report, Brown, Yadam, Cashman, and Jordan, they are uh, listed as questionable. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, Jones, Fadakasi, and Van Lannan, they are listed as questionable for them. Now, weather-wise, going to be a pretty warm one in Florida. 77 degrees by kickoff with moderate clouds. We're also looking at 13-mile-an-hour winds potentially. So once again, keep an eye on the uh, wind uh, if you have uh, fantasy kickers uh, in this matchup here. Now, total-wise, I don't see the Texans scoring a whole lot of points. They did see two out of their last three fall under the total, throwing out that Charger game. Meanwhile, Jacksonville saw their Week 2 contest against Indianapolis fall 20 points below the total. I'm going to lean toward Jacksonville, minus 7, under 44.5.